This shot you're seeing here is created via the real way to shallow the golf club. So an eight iron that's going long and straight with minimal effort. This is how the top tour players shallow the golf club and one of the big reasons why they hit the ball so far and straight. Where this shot you're seeing here is still from a shallow golf swing but it hasn't been the same method as the one before. And as you can see, it's still straight, it's still a good distance, but it's not quite the same as the other. And this one here, a lot of effort had to be put into that second shot. So what are we talking about here? We are talking about how these top players, like you're seeing Victor Hovland here, shallow the golf club so easily with no effort in the downswing. So what they are doing, they are pushing their pelvis back as they start to transition into that downswing, leaving the hands and arms in feeling where they are at the top. So leaving them at the top, pushing the pelvis back. And as you can see, as I do that, you can see at how the club shaft starts to shallow out effortlessly. But if I grip the club too tight as I do that, you're gonna see at how the club then will steepen and come over the top. So, so key here is nice, light and loose grip pressure and moving that pelvis straight away back and the club is gonna naturally shallow and a couple other things are gonna happen as well so another nice straight one but you're also going to start to rotate the body extremely efficiently because if i push the pelvis back especially as i move in the downswing with the left side you're going to see how it's going to one open up the left side of my body i'm going to start to rotate if we can get deeper with the hips which is what this is moving that left hip deeper you're going to see it how I'm going to rotate my hips, but also look at how my upper body has started to move more down. It starts to go into flexion, which is the opposite of extension. So if you're a golfer who stands up straight away, this is great for you. So again, pushing that pelvis back is not only going to shallow the golf club as gravity will start to hit that center of mass of the golf club, pitching it down like you see in the top pros here, but it's also going to get you rotated through the shot and that's all gonna happen at once. So this is why this is a superior way to shallow the golf club because shallowing the golf club is only important because it enables you to turn and rotate. So let's say for example here, I'm doing a very good shallowing method here. So let's say getting the right elbow moving more in front. Now this will absolutely shallow the golf club brilliantly. Now you can make it work very well. I've got a whole video course in the description, the complete guide to shallowing the golf club, how to make different shallowing methods work. But this is why this one, in my opinion, isn't quite as good as what I'm showing here. Because I'm going to have to get that elbow in and then once that's in, I've got to now really try to rotate. So I'll have to have two kind of compartmentalized movements in the downswing. So I've got to get that right arm in, which will shallow the club, and then I've got to rotate, which if I time, brilliant. See, another nice and straight shot, but as you can see, because it's not one big fluid movement, it's not all happening at once, I'm not able to quite generate that same speed because the rotation isn't becoming as efficient. The shallowing's great, but I'm not getting it all in one package. So we want to get this all in one package to be able to get the massive benefits. Because like we said, shallowing helps with rotation. If we can have a move that gets both of them in at the same time, then why would we not do that? And that has a much more free flowing movement with the body that generates more power, like you can see instantly. So guys, the off season is here. So now is the time to start working on your game in preparation for next season, for next season to be the best season ever. So if you wanna make changes just like you're seeing here with my students, I wanna do it over the winter period where you're in luck because I have just launched the winter improvement plan. So what do you get with the winter improvement plan? You get four lessons per month and it's for all under the price of two single lessons. So an absolutely amazing deal. So four lessons per month is absolutely perfect for the amount of lessons to have optimal improvement month in, month out. So that's where we can have good interaction, have really keeping you on plan and making sure that we're giving your swing the time and attention it needs to have that massive improvement from off season 
to in season. So it's an absolute brilliant way to work on your golf swing to get it ready for next season. But any lesson package or subscription on my skill list is absolutely a brilliant way to work on your golf swing. And don't just take my word for it. Here are the testimonials of my students and the massive improvements they've made. So if you want to ask me any questions, you can message me over on my Skillist profile and I'll absolutely answer anything you want. And I'm looking forward to working with you and improving your golf swing. Now, how you get this into your golf swing is via an extreme feeling and a good process of drills here. So let's get into the feeling first. You can go out onto the golf course and play with this straight away. So I want you to feel like, again, that pelvis has been pushed back as much as you can but let's extreme it more than that. Imagine there's a wall, let's say a couple foot behind you. And what you're trying to do, you're trying to push your pelvis back onto that wall as you start to move down. But remember, light and loose with the hands, otherwise that club won't pitch and it won't shallow. So really light, light and loose grip pressure, push the pelvis back as much as you can in the downswing, that's gonna shallow that club. So think you're hitting a wall behind you, that's your goal. Imaginary wall, you're trying to push your pelvis back as far as you can to hit that wall. Boom. And again, it just results in these great distances. So that's the feeling I want you to do. Now here's the drill routine to be able to get this. So it's a process in your practice that you can apply here. So number one, you've got to exaggerate the feeling beforehand. You've got to really make sure that feeling is really exaggerated in your practice swing. So here's a little clip of Tiger Woods. Now Tiger here is demonstrating a very similar move to what I've been talking about here. He's pushing that pelvis back and he's moving that upper body down. But like we said, if that pelvis gets pushed back, your upper body will naturally flex down. Like if your pelvis goes forward, your upper body will naturally stand up. So you can see how extreme Tiger looks here. And he's doing it in between shots. He's doing it with no club, but you can absolutely do it with a club. Push that pelvis back, really slow motion to really get the feeling nice, light and loose hands. Great. And then make sure you're doing a bunch of those in between shots to really exaggerate it. And then go and hit the shot with that exact same exaggerated feel and that'll be a great way to go and start to practice it. So exaggeration in practice, in your practice swings, is step number one. Two, a drill without a golf ball called a dry drill. So drill without a golf ball here, I want you to get up to a net or a wall, for example, and stand roughly about a grip's distance away. Now grip the club to where it's quite high up, and then get up to the top of your swing, and then from there, I want you to hit the wall with your pelvis. So just like the visual we're having, I want you to actually physically do it. So hit the ball with your pelvis and that's pushing it back and that's gonna have those great movements that are gonna transpire because of it. So make sure you're going and doing that an absolute ton. Dry drills are so incredibly important to be able to get the movement into your golf swing because so many golfers just go and do the drill straight away and expect to see changes immediately. It's only if you pair it with good dry drills, good exaggerations, do you see the most optimal amount of progress. So now the drill with the golf ball, which is the next step, you're doing pretty much what we talked about in the imaginary feel. So with the wall behind you. So we're replicating that wall with an alignment stick. Now, because this is actually a real thing now, this alignment stick is there. Again, you have it a few foot behind you try to push that pelvis back to where it's touching it. Is it actually gonna to touch in a downswing? No, it's way too far back. But if you have that feeling, it's really gonna massively help you. So just having that visual, that physical thing there behind you just creates that feel and cements it even more. So I'm gonna try and hit that stick behind me with my pelvis, light and loose with the arms, gonna shallow the club, gonna turn me, gonna keep me in my posture. It's gonna result in really nice, long and straight. Shots, boom, awesome. So really back that pelvis back onto it. This is something that used to be quite popular among tour pros. A couple of years ago, I used to see quite a few of the pros doing this drill. So where they're just using that imagination, but they've got something there, pushing that pelvis back. So really good, nice shots. Absolutely love this. So that's a brilliant one to do. So again, you don't have to do this just with iron. You can do this throughout the bag. It's just as beneficial with driver, being nice and shallow with driver, helps hugely for your angle of attack as well. So for hitting up on it, it's a great one to do. So absolutely, every little shallowing method does absolutely help, but this is a way just to get it all blended in and just one go there. So absolutely, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.